This video looks at how the Babasu Fund was set up to deliver funding to landless palm nut collectors in the northern Brazilian state of Para. The Babasu Fund was set up to support the 300,000 or so women who collect and process Babasu nuts for their livelihoods in northeast Brazil's Amazon forest. Nine out of ten of these women are landless. The Babasu forests are palm groves. The Babasu nuts have high quality oil. The shell of the nut produces good charcoal. The flesh provides flour and the pulp can be used in drinks. The fund was set up by the interstate movement of Babasu palm nut breakers, known as MIQCB, a social movement that fights to protect traditional rights to access and use the palm nuts. MIQCB managed to have the Babasu Free Law passed in Brazil's parliament. This legally protects traditional rights to collect the Babasu nut, even on private land. MIQCB established the Babasu Fund in 2013 after visiting the DEMA Fund and realizing that it could support its members in this way. From the start, MIQCB has had help from the Ford Foundation, the DEMA Fund, the Institute for Society, Population and Nature, and many others. This network of supporters has been critical in helping the fund staff to understand the technical language of donors and to develop the systems needed to meet the donors' financial management expectations. A lot of time is spent on this. This is the fund's first full year of operations. In June 2018, the fund was negotiating its first large grant from the Amazon Fund. The Babasu Fund can also receive funds from companies. It also received compensation from a Brazilian cosmetics company after they used traditional intellectual property. The fund uses almost 60% of its funding to provide technical support and administration, with regional MIQCB teams helping local community associations to design and manage projects. This is an important investment in their capabilities, but too much time is spent on donors' administration needs. The fund provides grants to member associations to invest in legal support to claim the right to collect nuts under the Babasu Free Law, the sustainable production of the Babasu nut products, legal support to claim land rights as traditional forest occupiers, the sustainable management of the forest, and strengthening community associations and women and youth leadership. The fund issues calls for proposals to the communities. Communities can apply for different size grants which fit the fund's objectives. In this way, the fund responds to the opportunities identified by the communities themselves. If a community proposal is unsuccessful, the fund's staff provide feedback and support to improve the proposal and the community associations can apply again. The Babasu Fund's governance model ensures that representatives from the local community are part of all decision-making. Communities are represented in the steering committee that decides what is funded, in the executive committee that calls for proposals and monitors delivery, and the evaluation committee that assesses the impact of the fund. This inclusive governance structure means there is strong trust between the fund and communities and it gives the fund a credible collective voice with which to influence policies. The fund has actively engaged with the Sustainable Amazon Plan developed by Brazil's Ministry of Environment so as to ensure social inclusion for the landless and to improve land use planning, environmental management and innovation in competitive sustainable production enterprises.